Sydney Colleen and I'm very excited about today's video. So the other night I was shopping online on Forever 21, needed a new bathing suit, some new jeans, and I went to the sales section and noticed there were a lot of clothes for under $5. And it gave me an idea. Sophia Nygaard does this a lot where she buys really cheap clothes online or clothes that are recommended to her in ads and then she wears them for a week. I've seen Gigi Gorgeous buy Walmart or Target clothes and wear those for a week. I've also seen people do the $100 outfit challenge where they go into Forever 21 or H&M and try to buy one outfit for under $100, which girl, that is so easy. That's what I wear every single day. So I'm kind of doing a mishmash of a bunch of different things I've seen on the internet, and I bought a ton of outfits for under $5. <laughs> well, the items are all under $5. So I'm gonna see if I can make a week's worth of outfits out of all clothing items that were under $5 on the Forever 21 sale section of their website. I don't know if these are gonna be any good, but I actually love Forever 21. I wish this was an ad. It's not, so don't come for my ass. This ain't sponsored, honey. I wish it was. Here's my big box of stuff from Forever 21. I'm going to open all of these things in front of you. I haven't taken them out. The only thing I took out was this bathing suit that I bought that was $20. This thing is amazing. I'm just gonna say it was $19.90. Cheap. <laughs> Unbelievably cute. Like, really fitting. Highly recommend. <laughs> but this isn't part of the video, so we don't need to talk about that. Alright, so let's get started. One thing I see that is interesting is the original prices are on these price tags, not the sale prices. So I'm gonna have a hard time remembering how much I paid for these things. So this is a cute little velvet crop top. This is cute. This is cute. I don't know why people hate Forever 21. Oh no, this material is terrible. It's like a flowy shirt, but this material is actually terrible. It's like a silk but not, it's like scratchy, gross. The sleeves are nice, but the, the actual t-shirt, horrible. So I don't really know how I'm gonna put these outfits together quite yet. Right now I'm just showing you the items and then I'll make outfits out of them. Next thing we have, oh, this is horrible. A little cardigan with a rainbow on it. I got this crop top, which is super cute. It was really cheap, but I can wear this in my live show. I wear a lot of sparkly crop tops when I tour, so I'm stoked about that. These are another thing I'm really excited about. These were, I think, four bucks or five bucks. It's high-waisted sparkly shorts, and I'm touring this summer I'm going on a bus tour get tickets if you haven't already and I want to wear shorts and not pants so if these fit and are cute I'll be stoked we have some leggings I will say pants were hard to find for cheap cute little purple crop top one piece yellow obviously you can see it with your own eyes I don't know we'll see it's very stretchy <gasps> this one feels soft uh, it's just a simple striped shirt so here's the blue dress it's a crushed velvet um, here it says it's $12 I think it was five this is a crop top it feels very cheap that's because it is cheap <laughs> it's a strappy crop top these are cute oh these are shorts oh my god there wasn't really any bottom options that were under five dollars so i was very limited on what i would wear on the bottom half of my body but they are completely see-through you can't really tell on camera but like right now i can see the camera and the ring light through these pants i don't know about those <laughs> just a simple little dress kind of ugly but maybe we can make it work here are some pants like i said there were no pants for under five dollars except for leggings so i had to splurge on the pants so these pants are some just high-waisted jeans and they were eight dollars okay so so they're still very cheap. They're just not under five. So I cheated a little bit on the pants and on the shoes because I didn't have options. I don't know how these are gonna fit. Just a plain black tank top. I think this was $1.90 or something. Forever 21 did not have any shoes under $5, which was really annoying. So I had to splurge on these. So here are these little black flats. Very simple. I just had to get something generic because I needed it to match everything. And the biggest purchase I made was on heels. So I got some heels. These were $15. So this is the biggest splurge, but these are actually really cute. I didn't realize on the website they're sparkly and the final thing was I got some jewelry the jewelry from Forever 21 is very very cheap got this little choker necklace what the heck oh I didn't I did not know what these were I could not tell clearly I thought these were like bar studs you wear in your ears I didn't realize they were like whatever they are but I have to wear them I got them so hooray so I'm gonna start trying to make these outfits together and then I'm gonna bring you along with me all of these items were under five dollars except for the shoes and that one pair of jeans so I feel like this is gonna be a total success let's see how it goes Okay, it's day one of my challenge. I feel like I have a lot of options and a lot of disaster. This is what my brain looks like basically every single day. So if you're ever wondering how organized I am, there's your answer. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> Today is a casual day for me, so I'm gonna wear a casual outfit. This should be interesting. So my first outfit, it's, it's hot today in Los Angeles, so I chose something more cozy and cool. These shorts are super cute, however, really short. So I don't think I can really wear them anywhere because like my butt hangs out. Um, and I'm wearing the choker, it's comfortable. And I'm wearing the flats. 
this is my outfit today. I will let you know how it holds up, but so far I'm already uncomfortable with just my butt hanging out. So these might turn into pajama shorts, but for today, I'm wearing them out on the town because I go out on the town. By the town, I mean CVS because I don't go out. I don't have friends. Moose, what do you think of my outfit? Do you like it? I don't think you've ever seen me in shorts before. Oh, he hates it. Just hanging out around the house so far, it's been comfortable. Um, I'm not a big fan of chokers, so this is actually kind of strangling me, but <laughs> I'm gonna try something a little bit more uh, athletic. I'm gonna try throwing the ball with Moose in this and see if it holds up. I already feel so uncomfortable, like my entire butt is out. Look. <laughs> Moose. Trying to see what this outfit would be like if I move around a lot, but you're not moving around a lot, so how am I supposed to find out? You're the worst. This outfit is extremely revealing. I can feel my butt cheeks getting gusts of wind every step I take. I might wear these to bed sometime. It's kind of a cute outfit, but I think I'm too old for something like this. It just looks absurd, so kind of a bust. All right, guys, day two outfit. Hey, boobies. It's this crushed velvet type of blue tank top and the high-waisted jeans. I'll give you a better shot of it right now. Um, so these jeans are actually really comfortable. They're more like leggings, they're not jeans at all. But the shirt is like an awkward length. It's like a little too long to be a crop top and a little too short to be a regular t-shirt. It's an awkward length and I'm not sure if I should tuck it in or like roll it up to be a crop top, but I'm pairing it with this choker again, just cause I don't have many options here, um, and the black flat. So this is the outfit of choice today. It's actually really comfortable, I'm living for it. This is very my style. This whole outfit was around $20, so I'm living for this look, honey. I love a cheap, cheap coin. Okay, I really like this outfit, but look, it keeps doing this. It keeps like going down. It's driving me nuts. Wait, it's a cute top, but it's like you just have to be careful because like every two seconds, the shirt either falls down or comes up. Overall, I really like this outfit. Would probably wear all of it again, maybe in a different way, but I would, I like these clothes. I'm keeping them. Forgive my huge frizzy hair today. It's a mess. I know, I haven't showered. This outfit today is definitely the least me of all the outfits I've tried or bought. I feel like a kindergarten teacher. I, I don't know what I would ever wear this to. I feel like I should be a nanny. I don't know, this is, this is not something I think I would ever wear out. I didn't really have many dress options, so I wanted to get something that was a casual dress and Oy. So of course I'm gonna wear the flats again today. I'm sick of these flats, y'all. I miss my tennis shoes. I usually wear like Keds every single day. It reminds me of when I was in college and I was really conservative. Like this is an outfit maybe I would have worn in college, like in choir camp. I mean, it's comfortable. I don't think it's ugly. It's just not me. So I feel really weird in this, but oh well. I'm just gonna go teach some Sunday school. So see you guys later. Happy Sundays. Have a blessed day. Okay, so one thing I'm uncomfortable about is that <laughs> Eric's coming over today and he's never seen me in something like this. <laughs> so I'm nervous of what he's gonna think. What do you think of my outfit? What? <laughs> what is it? What do you think of it? What are you supposed to be? <laughs> what do you think? Can you tell if you're like teaching? That's what I say. I think it looks like a Sunday school teacher or like kindergarten teacher outfit. This is what Moose thinks. Moose loves this outfit. Moose uh, literally just gave me a two out of 10 for this outfit. I, it's not your color. It's not my anything. <laughs> Spent $5. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one's the worst one for sure. Okay, y'all, I know I said yesterday was the worst one, but today might be the worst one. This shirt is so weird. It's the grossest material ever, and it's completely see-through and just an awkward length. I'm wearing the leggings today, which are really comfortable and thick and long. I have really long legs, so I can never find leggings or clothes or pants really that fit my long legs. So I actually really like these leggings for three bucks. It's a really good deal. I did pair it today though with these little earring stud things that I accidentally bought. They're kind of ugly, but uh, gotta wear them. But this shirt is a total bust. Completely see-through, like completely. So I might have to have a wardrobe change with this one. All right, this one is still see-through. But it is cuter, so I like this shirt a little better. I think the other one is just, I can't do it. I kind of look like a weird mom pirate or something. I don't mind it, like I actually kind of like this shirt. I would wear it with like skinny jeans or something and not these shoes. I'm starting to really hate these shoes. They're so ugly. But like I said, these were the only shoes that they had that were sort of cheap. What do you think, Moose? Do you like this outfit? 
Today's outfit is simple. I'm back in the skinny jeans. I like these a lot. They're way better than every other option. The leggings are comfortable, but so are the jeans. So I'm happy with that I'm not in that ugly blue dress. This shirt's not the cutest thing in the world, but I don't hate it. I'm kind of comfortable today. I just cannot wait to not wear these shoes. I hate these shoes. It kind of looks like a leotard, like a ballerina would wear. Too short to be a crop top, but it's also too long to be a crop top. I don't know what it is, so I'm just tucking it in. Uh, but yeah, I am I'm getting over this challenge. I am ready to just be back in my normal clothes. I'm getting there. This is the fifth one. The next two that I have are more nighttime, like going out outfits. And y'all know how much I love to go out, so. But I'm eager to see what these two look like. Okay, y'all, I am so tired and I'm sick today. So I am wearing clothes that are not my $5 Forever 21 clothes. I have two more outfits, but they're evening outfits. So that's why I'm not wearing a $5 outfit right now. I'm gonna put on this evening outfit and not go anywhere because I'm sick, so. <laughs> this is a process, y'all. And when you're sick, the last thing you wanna do is doll yourself up, but. I did my hair and I'm wearing this dress. I actually kind of really like it. It's like this velvety blue material. It's really snug. I feel like I should be wearing Spanx. It's got some boobies. It shows all the creases. Obviously, because I'm sick, I'm not going out tonight, but I feel like I would totally wear this. Do we have a winner? Is there actually an outfit that I like and I'm gonna wear? Shocking. All right, so we're on outfit seven, so I'm kind of running out of options here. I do have a couple more shirts that I haven't tried yet, but I really wanted to try out these sparkly shorts. This outfit is it's horrible. <laughs> the shirt is fine. It feels cheap and it's a little bit see-through. The shorts are okay. They're kind of itchy because of the sequins and they are a little short in the back. So my booty is going to pop out probably. And I just feel like they make my front area look weird. I don't know what it is about these shorts. I just think they're really odd. I paired it with the heels. Anyway, this is the final outfit. I think it's hideous. What do you guys think? Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this weird little video. It's a little bit different than what I usually do, but I wanted to try it out. I will probably probably wear half of this stuff again. I don't know, it was fun. It was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought I would crush this challenge because I love Forever 21 and I love cheap clothes, but it was harder than I thought. If I had like $15 limit or something, I feel like I could do a lot better. I could have more shoes and more pant options. Let me know if you guys want me to do something like this again. There's a lot of stores like H&M, Forever 21, Charlotte Russe, stuff like that that I shop at all the time. I would love to try it again because this is actually fun. Just some of the clothes were terrible. All right, leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to do next. I love you guys. Subscribe, push that bell notification button because subscribers aren't getting notified when you're subscribed to channels anymore, only sometimes. And if you want to be notified every time I upload a video, you've got to click that bell button right underneath me. There's a little bell. Please, please, please click it. I love you guys and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.